Animals like peacocks are so beautiful that they catch everyone's attention. However, not all animals want to be like that. Some of them want to stay hidden behind trees or rocks to avoid any sort of predators. Natural selection plays a huge part in maintaining their hierarchy in the animal world. It favors a few species that can either blend in with their environment or change themselves enough to look like another animal, like the mimic octopus. There are also creatures like the wraparound spider that changes its whole body shape to camouflage. But the most impressive one has to be the buff tip moth, and we'll show you that at the end. Here are 28 animals that blend with their environment perfectly. Different types of stick insects. Perfect. Most insects like roaches and ants don't care much for camouflage. However, those that do like to hide in plain sight. Some of them use cryptic coloration and some of them dress up as their surroundings. And here's a whole range of them from sticks to leaves and even flowers. It helps them deceive their prey and also hide from humans, despite our advanced color recognition and high definition eyesight. Take the stick bug, for example. It uses insect mimicry to stay hidden and has managed to do that for about 126 million years. Looks like these bugs cracked the code. Vietnamese Mossy Frog. The Vietnamese mossy frogs are the best example of forest camouflage because not only are they the perfect color, but they also have little tubercles and spines that look like there's a bunch of moss growing on the frog. These frogs make amazing display animals, but only if you can spot them. Their distinct little pads on their toes help them to stick to trees and branches where they stay in the same position for hours to hide from predators. Another way they avoid getting eaten is by staying in large groups all huddled together. Octopus Cephalopods are the smartest creatures to exist after mammals, which means they don't need to outrun their predators when they can just outsmart them. They include a highly intelligent collection of ocean-dwelling organisms that include eight-armed octopuses, ten-armed squids and cuttlefishes, and shell-chambered nautiluses. Cephalopods relied on the durable protection of shells early in their evolution but many subsequently shed the outer shell and relied on other adaptations such as enhanced intellect, a propensity for hiding, and strong, flexible limbs. Octopi, for example, have an amazing ability to control the muscles under their skin so that they can change the texture of their skin to look bumpy or smooth. Along with their excellent eyesight, they can detect the color of their surroundings. And accordingly, they can change the chromospheres, which are the cells that change color to watch the surrounding palette. This trick took them millions of years to perfect because hiding in plain sight in the ocean isn't as easy as it is on land. Bobtail Squid Meet the bobtail squid that's smaller than a can of soda but still has amazing skills to stay hidden from all the bad guys. This squid spends most of its time buried in the sand to hide from predators, but that's not the only type of camouflage this squid has. It has bacteria called Vibrio fischeri on its skin that maintain a mutual relationship. This bacterial is like a firefly on a hot summer's eve. It generates light through a chemical process. The squid provides them with sugar and amino acid, and the bacteria in return. The bacteria match the amount of light on top of the squid and hit its outline even at night. This type of camouflage is called counter-illumination, and the bobtail squid has it perfected. Orange Oak Leaf Butterfly Butterflies are one of those spot-eye-catching creatures in nature. However, that's not always an excellent quality since staying away from predators is the biggest concern in the animal world. To combat this concern, the orange oak leaf butterfly has wings that look exactly like a dry leaf with dark veins when they close. This type of camouflage is so effective that it might even trick humans. Even the shape of the wings resembles that of a leaf. They recognize their own cryptid colorations and know how to use them by clinging to branches and basking on low foliage, creating a false impression to predators. If provided with an opportunity to escape, the orange oak leaf will do its best to counter its predators with a quick response and charge into the air upon realizing the threat it has entered. Eastern Screech Owl Camouflage You might not think of birds when you think of camouflage, but the eastern screech owl is here to change that. This owl is always in disguise, see it or not. 
Its fur has spots and bands of color that match perfectly with the types of trees and bark surrounding it and also give it excellent positioning against the tree bark. Usually it'll seek out a tree cavity big enough for it to fit in and then position itself so perfectly that it starts to look like tree bark. Not only does this help the owl to hide from predators, but it also helps it sneak up on its prey. The eastern screech owl, red morph adult, northern, usually sleeps throughout the day with feathers squeezed against the edge of the roost hole for great concealment. The red morph has a deep reddish brown color with vertical streaks. Barren Caterpillar Camouflage Caterpillars come in all shapes and sizes. The common barren caterpillar of Southeast Asia, India, and Malaysia is a genuine master of disguise, capable of disappearing into the surrounding foliage in the blink of an eye. Can you spot the one in this clip? Probably not. That's because the barren caterpillar has a body covered in green feathery bristles that blend precisely with the leaves of the mango tree. It might give it a freaky, alien-like appearance, but the fact that it almost disappears is enough for the tiny insect. Its yellow spine aligns perfectly with the midrib of the leaf. The act of disguise was evolved by the caterpillar as a means of evading hostile birds, lizards, and chameleons. It might be tempting to touch it or move it around, but be aware that coming in contact with these things will definitely cause irritation that can last for hours. Flounder Camouflage the flounder is a fish that's like others. Its flat body shape and dark color help it swim near the sea floor without attracting too much attention to itself. Moreover, its flat and broad shape allows it to swim smoother and quicker. Much like octopi, they can change the color of the skin to imitate different colors and textures. They're able to look like sand one minute and rocky bottom the next. Flounders have tiny sacks of pigment in their skin that they can enlarge at their will to help it change the color of the skin. Flounders may grow to be 5 to 25 inches long. They usually stay stationary on the bottom and blend in with the environment. It launches surprise attacks on prey like crabs, shrimp, and tiny fish, using their ability to change color in response to their surroundings through their eyesight, hormones, and specific skin cells. Putu bird. This is the common photo that's practically invisible to most predators. It disguises itself as a branch by staying incredibly still for long periods during the day. Putus are primarily nocturnal and do not fly during the day. They spend the day perched on branches, half-closed eyelids with their cryptic plumage. They resemble stumps, and when they smell possible danger, they assume a freeze pose that resembles a broken branch even more. The parents take turns to incubate the egg, and during that, they make sure that their posture is perfect with the tree. Since they're nocturnal, they have huge eyes to see better in the dark, but their huge eyes are a bright yellow color, which can be pretty apparent in the daytime. That's why they have a small slit that they can look through on their kids when their eyes are closed. Snow Leopard The majestic snow leopard has a very thick fur that's patterned with spots and rosettes that help them camouflage in their rocky surroundings. The fur pattern is different for every leopard, and considering how beautiful their long, dense hairs are, it's no surprise they're so beautiful to look at. Other than that, they're pretty cute animals too, since they can't roar. But that's not a problem since they can sneak up on their prey anytime they want. These high-altitude acrobats also have natural snowshoes to keep their paws warm and silent the whole time. It is solitary and active mostly from dawn until early morning, as well as in the afternoons and early nights. It's typically found on cliffs and ridges, which give viewing spots and shade. Wraparound Spider Camouflage Have you ever seen a spider that can shapeshift? This is the wraparound spider and it does exactly what its name suggests. These insects can flatten their bodies against a surface thanks to their particular body shape. Their abdomen is shaped like an inverted dish so that when it lays flat, its underbelly curves exactly to the shape of the branch. Not only does it make the spider's camouflage game incredibly strong, but it's also an incredibly hard-working insect. At night, it spins up a web that it stays in at night, but as soon as the sun comes up, it will destroy its own web and lay flat on a random tree branch. Pygmy Seahorse 
The tiny and delicate hide in plain sight like the pygmy seahorses. These are some of the smallest creatures in the ocean and they like to spend their adult lives attached to a type of coral called Gorgonian sea fan. They use their tails to hold onto the coral sea fans. But the most impressive thing is that they can match the coral's vibrant color and texture so well that it's impossible to spot them, even for experts. The pygmy seahorses are way too small and feeble to fight off any sort of predators. And they're not even poisonous, so staying out of trouble is their best bet for a long life. Weedy Scorpion Fish Most scorpion fish are incredibly boring to look at. However, there is one that managed to win the jackpot, the weedy scorpion fish. These fish can be found in every color from red to orange to even purple. But try not to touch them since they're incredibly venomous. Even though they're an endangered species, they're very difficult to find because of how good their camouflage is. The weird thing about them is they're not good swimmers. In fact, they hop on their pectoral fins rather than swim at all. However, their ability to blend in with rocks or seaweed, where regular fish think it's safe to hide, helps them get an easy meal despite being ambush hunters. Moth Camouflage Moths are prime examples of camouflage because everything from their wing color and patterns is determined by natural selection. Some of them have colors of ramsbeck, that of tree bark or leaves like this one, as soon as the man releases the moth, it flies to the nearest tree and adjusts itself so well that it almost disappears. Not all moths camouflage to hide in plain sight, but instead they try to disguise themselves as something so distasteful that no predator would even think about eating them. Since their camouflage depends on natural selection, there's a species of moth that learn to change color to match the air pollution caused by the Industrial Revolution. How crazy is that? Tree-Colored Frog This is the Cope's Gray Tree Frog that looks like in any ordinary tree or even rock. That's not all. Their body color can also change according to the temperature and the activity they're doing. As if that weren't enough, adult frogs produce a toxin that enters the skin of the predators and irritates them so much that they forget to eat the frog. For humans, it just irritates sensitive areas or any open wounds. And in the winter, the little frog hibernates under decaying logs or leaf litter to stay hidden while spending their slow days in peace. Chameleon Color Change When we talk about camouflage, chameleons are the first animals that come to mind. These creatures can change their color to avoid getting eaten. When they're on the ground, they'll darken their color a little bit. However, like squids or octopi, they don't consciously change color as it's more of a mechanical reaction to them. Along with that, they also move incredibly slow which makes them impossible to find for other animals. So their colorful appearance isn't just for camouflage, still also to reflect what sort of mood they're in. When a male chameleon is ready to mate, it'll brighten up the color. When the female is ready, she'll change her colors in response. Mimic Octopus all octopus species are highly intelligent and understand a lot more than most animals. The mimic octopus doesn't just change its color and texture, but it can also mimic the behavior and movement of other animals. After changing the color and texture of a certain animal, it will change the way it moves to impersonate that animal. This sort of skill hasn't been found in a lot of animals, especially aquatic ones. These creatures are intelligent enough to determine which animal to impersonate, so their possible predator will be intimidated the most. Snake Camouflage in Tree When it comes to hiding and camouflage, you wouldn't think something as venomous and dangerous as a snake would need those skills. Well, the truth is these animals also have prey behind them and need to hide at times. Their best hiding spot is trees where they can blend in with the leaves and branches. Not only does this keep them out of reach from predators, but they can also kill the prey with ease. In this clip, the snake literally changes the way it moves to adjust to the shape of the branch so it can sneak up on its next meal. A Knoll Camouflage Unlike chameleons, not all animals need to have the ability to turn every shade of the rainbow. In fact, the green anole lizard only has a range that goes from a dark brown to a bright green. 
These creatures live in trees where most of the color palette is brown and green. Other than that, they usually spend their winters in rotten logs and under the boards of the house, which are once again brown and green. Orchid Manis Everyone wants to be as pretty as a flower, but the Orchid Manis takes this way too literally. They can blend right into a field of flowers with its brightly colored wings and bodies. Usually the Manis prefers to walk instead of fly, as moving slowly helps avoid attracting a predator. The Mantis also sways from side to side when as if to mimic the behavior of vegetation swaying in the wind. When their surroundings change, they can change their color in a matter of four days, depending on the humidity and light conditions. Phalera Asimilis Now we have the Phalera Asimilis moth that looks so perfectly like a piece of broken twig that even the end of its wings are jagged to complete the look. This moth can be found in different forested areas of Japan, where it managed to stay hidden by pretending to be a piece of wood. The nature of its camouflage gives it enough room to have imperfections in its coloration since they add to the whole broken twig look. In fact, its wings curve up a bit to create a cylindrical shape of most twigs. When these moths are caterpillars, they look like plain old bark to resemble the branches of the tree. It's not still their adult forms when they dedicate their whole life to being a twig. Even its little legs look like thorns. Deadleaf Manis The deadleaf manis seems just as its name implies, a large manis that lives in Malaysia. Its entire body is coated with dark and light brown markings that resemble a dead leaf. The massive shield on their back makes them look all the more like a dead leaf. When a predator is spotted, the manis freezes and blends into its surroundings. These guys also have the ability to approach prey undetected. Who would suspect a leaf, right? This is one of the biggest species of cryptic manis successfully kept in captivity, although they are difficult to raise and reproduce. Stonefish Stonefish are so well camouflaged that food, predators, and even people have a hard time spotting them. They blend in with their surroundings on the bottom, particularly amid stony reefs and corals, since their skin color and texture resembles the substrate. Some stonefish have refined the technique to the point that they can generate algae that gives them an advantage over predators. Thus, instead of pursuing prey, they sit and wait for the tiny fish and insects to come to them. Because stonefish are among the most venomous marine species, they are not eaten by other fish or humans. The Great Gray Owl The great gray owl is the world's biggest owl in length. They can be found from Quebec in the east to Alaska and the Pacific coast in the west. The great gray owl spends its time in surroundings and employs camouflage to creep up on prey rather than fleeing predators. The males are often smaller than females, as it's true of most owl species. All right, comment below which of these animal camouflage tricks impressed you the most. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to Forever Green, and hit that bell icon for more. We'll see you in the next one.